I'm Monica Ricks. As Israel prepares for a massive ground offensive in Gaza, Palestinians are still carting off more dead bodies. The death toll on both sides surpassing 4,200 now, including 30 Americans. CBS's Haley Ott is in Jerusalem. You've got Palestinian people living in Gaza, Palestinian Americans all sleeping by the border. They've been advised, some of them, that it's So they've just been staying in the area. Others have given up. The humanitarian crisis in Gaza is getting worse by the day as supplies run out there. As for the conflict itself, retired Army General David Petraeus was on CBS Mornings talking about what lies ahead for troops if they enter Gaza. There are going to be improvised explosive devices. There will be booby traps. There will be suicide vests. Uh, so the, this is very, very challenging. More than half a million people have already evacuated the region. Israel's also warning people to leave Lebanon. In Brussels, authorities have raised a terror alert to its highest level as they search for a shooter who killed two people. Prosecutors say he was shouting in Arabic as he carried out that attack. Oh. In Chicago, a six-year-old Palestinian-American boy was stabbed to death by his landlord this weekend in an apparent anti-Muslim attack. His mother was also hurt. Ahmed Rehaz with the Council on American-Islamic Relations. This was an attack on all of us. When this individual said, you Muslims must die, this was a message not to the boy and the, uh, and the mother. This was to all of us. We were all stabbed that day. The Justice Department's investigating this as a hate crime. A federal judge hit former President Trump today with a partial gag order ahead of the January 6th trial. Legal analyst Jessica Levinson. What she said is, don't disparage or don't use inflammatory and derogatory statements with respect to the special counsel, the court staff, and potential witnesses. That trial set to start March 4th. Rolls-Royce says it plans to lay off 2,500 jobs to cut, workers rather, to cut costs. The news comes as its CEO says he's retiring next month. Ford CEO also making headlines today, WWJ reporter Jeff Gilbert. Bill Ford's called it in the acrimonious talks greeted by a threat from UAW President Sean Fain to shut down the historic Rouge complex where Ford made his comments. Fain saying if Ford wants to settle the strike, he should call his CEO, tell him to stop playing games, and get a deal done. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 85 degrees outside.